Hello and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. Today on the Ruby Tuesday, we are going to be talking about how to become an ultra marathon runner or a trial runner. Okay, today we have Dave Lockyer with us. Uh, for every privilege, just give him a look up. Yay! <laughs> um, you're very much into running. Uh, you yeah. recently did an ultra marathon, I think. Yeah, Is that right. Um, what got you into running? Well, I've always liked getting outdoors, um, getting out in the countryside, and um, enjoy the benefits really of exercise as well. Yeah. Also, a little bit on the crazy side in terms of I tend to get very extremely into things that I do get into. So yeah. Uh, okay. Put all that together, and um, yeah, you end up with ultra trail running, which is um, kind of my hobby at the moment. So, to put it into context, what is an ultra run? Well, anything from a 50k run upwards generally is considered ultras. I mean, you can do runs of several hundred miles nowadays. Um, events like that happen all over the world. Um, but yeah, anything from 50k upwards, which is kind of beyond marathon distance. <laughs> 50k's. Yeah. So how can anybody, can anybody just go and do one? I think so, yeah. I mean, you don't get off the sofa and go and do it immediately, but right. with the right training and the dedication to it, I think, um, yeah, I think it's within everyone's reach, really. Okay, so if I wanted to, me and my weight, yeah. uh, wanted to go and do a trial run, yeah. uh, what would you just suggest that I go and do? What are some top tips you can well, suggest? Well, you, you do need to be patient, so you don't you know, go from sitting on the sofa to running an ultra overnight. You take, it takes time, it takes um, consistency, I think, is another thing that's really important. Mm. Um, I mean, essentially, get out and run run as often as you can, don't ramp it up too much too soon because then there's a risk of injury. Um, but yeah, just um, just go and do it and enjoy it and um, and do it regularly enough so that your body begins to adapt and respond to the input and the exercise you're giving it. And um, you just keep stretching yourself that little bit more so you're developing um, endurance and resilience and you know all that you need aerobically but also mechanically. Um, uh, within the you know the framework of your body to be able to cope with being out there on the trail for for multiple hours. Yeah. Um, so you've been doing this for quite a few years now. Is that right? Yeah, only about four years. So okay. Yeah, I'm relatively new to okay. it really because it takes a few years to build up. And you recently did one um, in the Him Himalayas, near the Himalayas. Yeah, did the Kathmandu North Face Kathmandu Ultra, which okay. was a is a 50 mile trail run um, on the hills on the outskirts of Kathmandu. Um, going up to around about 3,000 meters altitude as well, which um, was interesting because uh, most of my running here in the UK has been at sea level. So wow, okay. It added a, a different component to it. <laughs> um, so for those that take your advice and we do it slowly, we do it over a number of months and years and we get ourselves to mm. physical fitness to be able to do that, mm. what are some of the things you we should try and avoid um, doing? Uh, well, I mean, apart from what I said in terms of trying to ramp things up too quickly and risking injury, um, I mean, things I've learned in different situations um, are, you know, using the right kit because you're often out there for hours on end. Sometimes you're running through the night yeah. um, in quite isolated situations, so it's important to um, to test the kit that you're going to use actually on the race day um, so that you're used to how it works, you can iron out any problems you might have um, with that. Um, navigation as well, it's good, something good to practice. Mm. Um, a lot of the time you are you know, out on courses that aren't that well marked, so it's helpful to be able to navigate your way around a, a Northern Survey map and um, uh, be able to do that. One thing I've learned is to keep the map attached to yourself because on a windy run once um, it blew away and, uh, mm. uh, and I got lost and didn't know where I was. Oh um, so yeah, testing your kit, not ramping it up too quickly. Um, yeah, that's a, a good tip. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much uh, for being thank with you. us. I'm just going to ask you some quick questions because yeah. uh, we want to get to know you a bit more. So, uh, tea or coffee? Tea first thing in the morning, then coffee. Okay. Uh, salt or pepper? Salt. Um, Obama or Trump? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Okay. <laughs> Neither. Neither nor. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. Great. Um, it was good to have you with us. Great and pleasure. for more of these videos of how to become, uh, look out or click the little button, subscribe and like to us as well, please. Okay. Bye. Bye.